Good day, folks. Joe McQuaid, Wealth Preservation Associates, where we, play, we pride ourselves on helping our clients to protect their assets and to preserve their wealth. There are different ways to achieve this lofty objective, and today we want to speak with you about one proven way to do that. Our message today is directed to a very specific audience. Folks with cash assets currently invested in 401ks, IRAs, CDs, savings account, money markets. Those are the folks that we want to speak to today. We're looking to speak to you if you want to protect, exclusively protect, for your retirement purposes and oh, if you should not use them in retirement to pass those assets on to your beneficiaries. Finally, our message is for clients who are in their mid-50s and early 60s, folks who cannot afford a massive downturn in the market and they really have little time left to recover before that retirement comes. And finally, we're talking to the folks who do not want to be earning 1% on their investments. If you fit this profile, then listen on. We feel that a picture is easily worth a thousand words, and in this case, probably more. What we have here is a real life measurement of how someone who has invested a set amount of money and how they're going to grow that for their lifetime income distribution. For each individual choice here, there are a set of options that may or may not work. But today, we are going to be presenting the simple solution. We're not going to be involved in any bells and whistles. So we want to get started on that simple solution. And we welcome your inquiries to us to talk about some of the more complex variations on this, but we're going to stick with the simple solution today. We have, or I should say, a, prime, uh, a prominent financial services institution has recorded a period of history and illustrated how, in that time, this, these investments fared. Using the same investment, which is $100,000, they have shown over a 10 year period, three different outcomes. Let us review what has happened and we're gonna go through that step by step so we can share that with you. First of all, I wanna to point to the investment amount which is on the left side of the chart here. And then down here, I wanna share with you the timeline. That timeline is from 1998 to 2009. We have updated charts on this particular, uh, particular investment review that we're also happy to make available to you should you like to uh, see a copy of those that carry us through more present day activities and how, how these investments would have fared in the, in the present environment. But if we, if we look at what we have here, we see there are three separate measurements that are listed on the chart. If we look over here, each of those measurements is identified. The first measurement which is at the very bottom is what's called a minimum guarantee contract and we're going to go through that uh, and show you exactly what that means. The second measurement which is here and is, is probably the key measurement that we're going to look at today is directly invested in the market and in this case the investment, the $100,000 investment is in the S&P 500. Many are, of you may be familiar with that. It is a, a very tried and, and trusted and true uh, measurement of, of investments across the board and some of the largest corporations in the world are listed on the on the S&P on the S&P 500. The third measurement it's listed here as the annual monthly average which is a type of offering that falls within the environment of fixed indexed type of products and I'm going to go into that in a little bit more detail explain how those works at again a very simple level and at that point, as we get further into it, if there is an interest in getting into some of the options that are available uh, through those offerings, again, we're very, very happy to talk with you and meet with you uh, in order to discuss those options. But let's see what happens here. First, we can see that in the first couple of years, if you're directly invested in the market, 
you can't have a, a better choice because over a two-year period, you've grown about $37,000 on a $100,000 investment, which converts into about a 18 or 19% growth on your money. Not, not too shabby. Uh, but if you'll notice, and this is in the year 2000, and many of the folks who are listening in know exactly what happened in that time frame. 1999-2000, we had the internet bubble burst, where the massive evaluations for some of the dot-com companies came home to roost, and we saw that there was a tremendous, tremendous negative financial impact on that. However, more significant than even the dot-com uh, a bust was 9-11-2001 and we all know what happened on 9-11-2001 when those terrorists attacked our country and had a terrible impact over almost a full year's period beyond the event itself. So down right into 2002 we still had that negative impact. But as we tend to do here in the United States we have recovered we had tremendous growth which, which followed this, this horrible incident or horrible set of incidents, if you will, the financial uh, uh, impact of the dot-com bust and then the terrorist attack. And through 2007, we saw a very significant growth trajectory which was almost matching what was happening in the beginning of, of this period. Uh, however, again, in 2007, we had the housing bubble burst which resulted in a negative downturn which also gave us a significant loss on the financial assets. If you were out of the market at either one of these points, you were probably a pretty happy individual. But as things turn out, most folks were out at this point in the, uh, in the process and as a result that had a tremendously negative impact on them. Before I get to the uh, annual monthly average uh, so offering that we have here. What I do want to do is just kind of quickly share this with, with you, which as you can see, this is the minimum guaranteed contract value. And that for all intents and purposes is a fixed set of, of, uh, of uh, percentage growth year after year, very much like a, a CD on steroids. In this particular case, there was a $38,000 growth over a $100,000 investment in a 10-year period, which translates to about a 3.5, 3.8% growth year after year. This is a wonderful investment for folks who want to know where they are today and where they're going to be five or 10 years from now. The final option that I want to discuss with you and the option that I think is one that is very worthy of, of observation for anybody that's late in the retirement planning cycle. As I mentioned earlier, those in their 50s, those in their early 60s, those who are contemplating retirement in the next five to 10 years or already in retirement and, and want to make sure that their assets are there for them for the long haul. This offering here as you can see, it shadows what is happening directly in the market. Obviously, it does not surpass that, but what we're, we're seeing is that this is something that once the market downturns, you can see exactly what is happening with this, and that is it goes flat for the same number of years that the market is coming down. What that is doing, it protects not only your initial premium investment, but it also protects the locked-in gains, the growth that you have gotten over this, this three year period. From that point, as you can see, when the market starts to track back up, so does less of a significant curve, but so does the, the fixed indexed solution. It's also tracking up. However, the starting point is much higher. So as you can see, the growth here is at, at higher numbers and higher levels. And then again, when this happened again in 2007, we see how it went flat for that same three year period that this was coming down. It started coming down here and it did. And then all, now we're seeing and the charts, the recent charts that we have that again, we're happy to share with you, will show this uptrending for both this solution and that solution. So when we take a look at this, what we really need to do is understand what's happened and what's so important about this. Well, because this is your retirement, you really need to take into consideration these are my assets. I need to carefully manage these assets because if you don't, it can result in a negative or flat growth when you need them, you need those assets 
to grow and to be protected. Because remember, you're either in retirement, you're close to retirement, you're taking income from these assets, and you need to know they're going to be there when you want them. Losses can no, that you can no longer recover from. If you're in your 20s and this kind of a downtrend happens, there is a significant amount of time to recover. If you're in your 50s or 60s, there is no time to recover. So you have to be thinking about how that is going to impact you. Um, so finally, what, what I'd like to say in, in conclusion is that there is a way to sit down and take a look at each one of these individual trends and to come up with a plan that will fit into your retirement goals will allow you to decide what you need to do, even what portion of your investment portfolio you may want to shift into something like this that will be protected, will allow you to get lifetime income, which is something that we didn't even talk about in the video and we'll have not time to talk about today. But when you're invested in something like an IRA or directly in the markets, you have a finite amount of money. When you determine how much of that money you want to be taking during retirement, you also have to factor in longevity. How long am I going to live? And if you live longer than your factor, you may find that there is no money at the end of the day. In this particular solution, when the income starts, and this particular solution as well, it will not end as long as you're alive. You will continue to get that income stream for the rest of your natural life, whether it be 85, 95, or 105. So these are all things that I would be very happy to sit down and, and talk about with you and see if it makes sense for you to come up with one of these solutions. I want to thank you for your time today, and uh, hopefully I hear back from you. Joe McQuaid, Wealth Preservation Associates.